for our second bonus episode. <laughs> Out of space right now. He did not like that. I loved it. That was great. I liked it. Keep it. Keep rolling. I, it's you, you gotta get more about. <laughs> Yeah. I have small lips. You do. I, I can only do so much. Anyways, <laughs> we're doing a holiday extravaganza. Yes. What? <laughs> episode. Yes, yes, that is our uh, bonus episode. I was like, we're not doing a shopping spree. What are you talking about? <laughs> not yet, we're not. Not yet. Yeah. Do people do Fourth of July shopping sprees? I don't know. <laughs> I do beforehand to get all my um. Oh, my alcohols and my... Your alcohols, oh, your you hot go. dogs, yeah, yeah. your baked beans. <laughs> yeah. All that stuff. Well, are we cowboys? Your fireworks, obviously. Are we cowboys? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I've never purchased fireworks ever in my life. I mean, neither have really? I, but that would be the one shopping extra- extravaganza people would do for the 4th of July. I've definitely, yeah. definitely done it, but... Tim's like, yeah. I purchase fireworks every week. Yeah, yeah Tim and I have time. taken... A- Tim and I have taken apart bottle rockets and let the... The gunpowder inside on fire once. Yeah. Oh my. We built a whole little set and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So proud. I know. <laughs> Anywho, Tim. Yeah. What's our social medias like? Oh, These right. <laughs> we just kind of went <laughs> off on a tangent there, didn't we? <laughs> well, if you're not aware, we are on social media. You can find us pretty much anywhere. Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that, at Flipper Flicks, because... Yeah. That's only a little needed. <laughs> only a little bit. So if you're looking for <laughs> us, uh, we post there frequently. Updates, whatnot, little hints are what we're going to watch. So you guys can tag along, watch with us. Um, little treats here and there. So look us up. Do it. And then we also <laughs> typically release our episodes oh, at yeah, 1 p.m. on Thursday that, but... <laughs> on podcasts wherever they find you yep. and hunt you down. It's true. Yeah. That's what podcasts But do. this is a bonus episode. Yeah. So it's coming out today. The 4th of July. Woo! Woo! Na, 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 na. <laughs> is that? And for our holiday extravaganza episode, he, we watched National... Huh? Holiday extravaganza episode. He, yeah, no, I got you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did not. E. I get it. Okay, I get it. Anyways. You. Keep going. <laughs> we watched National Treasure... Don, huh? Don, Don. Who would steal the net? What? Oh, he said, huh? That <laughs> yeah. threw me off. I was like, no, we definitely watched that. We definitely watched it, yes. <laughs> That's the one that but we Yeah, made. so if you've not heard of this movie from, I believe, 2004, Sam's Who knows? Head. Something. Uh, I'm not Google. <laughs> <laughs> a historian racist. <laughs> it might be 2001. <laughs> it's in the early 2000s. It's early 2000s. Yay. Because I was I a child when I saw this. No, it's not the 90s. I would like to. Okay. But any hoodle poodle, <laughs> yeah. we, the I just synopsis. Keep interrupting him. A historian <laughs> races to find the legendary Templar treasure before a team of mercenaries. Yes, because when else should you watch a movie about someone stealing the Declaration of Independence if not on the 4th of July? Right. Like, is yeah. it even applicable any other time? You can also watch a, a episode of Always Sunny, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> True. Very much True. so. Very much so. <laughs> now, Sam, so this is on Disney Plus. <laughs> oh yeah, Disney Plus. If we you are guys need to find it. today. Oh boy, we have no grounding right now. <laughs> it's, have... it's been a while. Since Adam, I've carry us. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try. I'm. I get a little sidetracked easily too here, but really, <laughs> she clears her throat whenever I speak now. <laughs> It's not on purpose. I she just stares at me and does it, too. <laughs> Anywho, oh, I hate using that, but we're going to. Sam, what were your expectations? Because you saw this as a child. Okay, well, first off, spoilers. Let's cover that. Yeah. Second off, let's cover the ratings. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ratings. It got a 6.8 out of 10 on IMDb. Okay, that's pretty decent. 46% yeah. by critics. Eh? Eh. 76% by the audience. That's pretty good. We're going up better there. better than I thought it yeah, was going to be. We're getting be. better. We're getting better. <laughs> then Google, as always, 91%. <laughs> Thanks, Google. Natural. You're really helping people pick movies with your 90%. It's just like every movie is amazing. Watch <laughs> all of these Watch now. Watch every single one. <laughs> now, Sam, what is your initial expectations of a movie that you saw 
Uh, probably 10 years ago was the most recent, right? Yeah. At the most recent. Yeah, I don't think I've watched it. Because it, the second it's one It's not came, something I watch frequently. <laughs> the second one came out yeah. in 08. Yeah, it yeah. was a little bit far behind. So. so, let's say I probably watched it in 2008 to get myself pumped for the second one. Because I think your dad owned it, so. Probably. Okay, what were we talking about? Expectations. Yes. <laughs> I remember liking this film as a child, Mm -hmm. but Adam has roasted me on multiple occasions for liking this film, so I was also prepared to have my childhood ruined, so that's kind of where I netted out. Tim, what were your expectations? I remember liking it, and I remember, like, when it came out, there was a lot of hype behind it. Yeah. Like, a lot of people enjoyed it, so I couldn't fully remember the movie. Like, obviously, you remember, like the things that happened that were big like they found it and stuff like that but yeah i expected to do enjoy it yeah nice oh i i like to tease sam about this movie just because nicholas cage is absolutely ridiculous in every film he does oh yeah just naturally. the faces his deliveries so any movie with nick cage i kind of like laugh at in yeah. a sense this included that being said i did watch this and enjoy this as a kid so what you're saying is you roasted me for no reason for the past Oh, I was years. a very yeah. hypocritical yeah. roaster here. Yeah. It was just fun to That's tease you. I'm, I'm yeah. glad we uh, established that. I, yeah, we had to get that out of the gate. But to start the movie, we're going to just go in. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Thread that needle. Mm-hmm. We start with Christopher Plummer being, I mean, that's his real life name. Let's use his character name. Yeah, I was like, who? named christopher Plummer. Yeah, sorry john <laughs> adams gates so yes. great their names <laughs> with his grandson <laughs> benjamin <laughs> franklin gates yeah I'm like, oh are my you freaking God. kidding me they were very that was into cringy. history <laughs> yeah. they were into history what's funny is they weren't like even part of the group they just got like hey by the way i'm gonna die and i can't tell anybody else this because my boy andrew jackson's not at home right now Yes, I have that. Like, okay, it's 18, whatever the heck. 32. 32. Where are you if you're not at the White House? Like, what is, what are you possibly doing? I don't know. Andrew Jackson's got his things that he does, and he wasn't very well liked, so he's probably in hiding. Okay, but I'm just saying, in 1832, the White House is probably the most bomb house you've been in, and you're not there. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But, anywho. Anywho, they're, they're the treasures from the Templars, which, by the way, I all of my understanding of, of Templars comes from, like, Assassin's Creed, which is totally 100% legitimate. Mm-hmm, definitely. Yeah. They're the bad guys. Verified. But I'm pretty sure the Templars are the ones that started the Holy War that set the Dark Ages, like, set us back into the Dark Ages. Probably. Who knows? Good, good theory, yeah. I... <laughs> We'll believe you. Yeah. I thought that's who it was. Who started the Crusades? They did. The Templars. I'm saying this was zero <laughs> knowledge. You were going to say the Catholics. Yeah, I was. Who, I are wanna... Templars? Wanna... who are the okay, Templars? Okay, I was like, yeah. I didn't want to throw people under the bus. Yes, the Templars <laughs> are the ones who started the Holy War, the Crusades, and they just fucked the world. Oh. Real good. Real, real good. Real good. We set ourselves back. That's like, why it's in a good. church. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. The Templars with their giant red cross on I thought, themselves. okay, hold on. I'm going to show how dumb I am. I thought that the Templars and the Masons were like like craftsmen. Is that not Masons a thing? were Masons yeah. originally. Oh, those, they're not I the don't same thi- thing? I think this is a fictional, I want to say a fictional connection. Okay. Now, that being said, George Washington being a Mason, I didn't do my research. That could be legitimate. I'm sure that's a thing. I thought I was yeah. Yeah. I've heard that before. Yeah, the Masons have been around forever. Illuminati, club. the Shriners. <laughs> My grandpa was a Mason. Yeah. So they're not the same as the Templars, or they are. The Templars. Be, the Templars. <laughs> I think the Templars created the Masons. Okay. I don't know. Somebody Google it and tell us, please. <laughs> Hit us up on Instagram and Twitter, and be like, "You guys need to go learn your histories. Go to a library, yeah. specifically the Library of Congress." Yeah, huh? that looks pretty dope. That was yeah. Do you think it's the? He said. He being Ben, Benjamin Franklin Gates, mm-hmm. aka Nick Cage, yes, yeah. aka knower of all history except for one little fact. Yeah, he just like pulls it out of his brain whenever he needs it. Like he's so good at history. He's a fanatic, Ex- yeah. <laughs> except he doesn't know about daylight savings time, dumbass. Yeah. yeah. What an idiot. World War Two. Ruined the whole movie. 
<laughs> it just that Unbelievable. just destroyed it all. But do you? He said that the Library of Congress is the world's largest library. True or false, Tim? I feel like there's a larger one that I've heard of, but so I'm gonna go with false. Sam. False. It is true. What? You yes. lied to me. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I Googled it right before because I was like... Google lied to you? I was like, I don't believe it. Now, if the Library of Alexandria was not burned to the ground... Yeah. See? Told you. <laughs> That's the one Tim was thinking of. By, I think, wasn't that by the Templars, the Catholics burnt down, Sam? Dude, I don't know. I don't I know. I thought it was just in a They war. did it so that they could hide the treasure better or something. I don't know. Obviously. Duh. <laughs> they just really didn't like Alexander the Great, so they mm-hmm. were like... Fucking Alexander the Great. Well, you want to know the other unbelievable part about this movie is that they stole the Declaration of Independence. No, that they went to Urban Outfitters to get their (laughs) their clothing, and then they two hundred dollars for two hundred dollars, and they all put on like three shirts. Like she put on like a cami, a shirt, and an outer layer jacket, which I'm going to tell you, unless 2000s prices were way different, yeah. that cost an arm and an ass. As yeah. well as his outfit, which was basically two jackets. He had on two jackets. Mm-hmm. And there was no indication that it was cold outside. Right. I know. And it gets funnier because if you, apparently the retail value of his watch was $8,500. What? Damn. Yeah, it was a Rolex. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he put it as collateral for $100. Yeah, he just at that point was like, I don't fucking care. Yeah. I just like that he was like, I dive with it. It's like, or whatever. It's, <laughs> it's dive like, certified. Like yeah. yeah, like, it's dive certified. I promise it's worth at least that. Like, jeez Louise. And I think my, another, that was just a great scene all around, because I really love Riley. I've always loved Riley. Yes. Oh, Justin Bartha yes. is amazing. Yeah, and he's he's still really Doug. good. Doug. Yeah. Yeah. Doug from The Hangover, and he, when he knows Daylight Savings and he doesn't, and he's like, wait, I know oh a fact God. about history <laughs> that you guys don't know. Let me just, let me just revel in it and stand yeah. here for a few minutes. Like, just, wow, this is great. I just want you to know Sam has done this to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, did, I really identify because with that. I'm a knower of random things, and then when she knows something I don't, she's like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I usually use the line from Pirates of the Caribbean. Did everybody see that? Because I will not be doing that again. That's kind of like what Riley does here, yeah, which I thought yeah. was really great. No, I, yeah. I liked him all throughout the film because it was just like all his quips and stuff were just great. Yes. Everything he did, he delivered all great. It was so good. Mm-hmm. Now, he is they he is not in Laura Croft Tomb Raider with Angie. Okay. Now, there is a character similar to him, though. Okay. Like, just like the dark-haired, like tiny, like, like scrawny nerdy guy that helps do all the sciencey stuff. I thought mm-hmm. Seth Green was in Seth Green is in it, but there's another guy too. Okay. Yeah. It's confusing. So you just wanted to clarify that that is not in fact Doug. That is not Doug. It's other Doug. Well I think they were popular at the time because is Seth Green in the Italian job, but he was another like nerdy little He um, was like I have no idea computer guy that's like a sidekick in the Italian job reading. Yeah and so then like he, at that time I feel like that yeah. was just like the unsung hero. The, the nerd. The nerd. <laughs> the scrawny little guy. But to go back to that scene, I loved how the girl behind the counter was like, I don't care. Like, yeah. he, he, oh, she said great. something. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, do you know? Yada, yada, yada. And then she's just like, no. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, Whatever. I loved it. <laughs> I know. Now, we're going to the attire that Sam brought up. I'm going to hop back to when they landed in the Arctic, like the very, not the, not the opening scene, because at the opening, it was when he was a little kid. Right. Right. But like when we first see Nick Cage, they got these ridiculous sunglasses. They do. Like, I'm like, I like, hey, you guys all have matching sunglasses. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's part of the team. You had to, you had to get the matching sunglasses. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Treasure hunting team. Sean Bean's got his California surfer do going. I know. I love it. I'm like, what the shit is going on with this movie? I totally forgot that Scene Bean was in it until he came on screen, and I was I like, love it. oh, nice. And then I just feel like it's a wild card role for him. It is because yeah. he doesn't die. And so, like, <laughs> that is that is on the spoilers trivia, like facts about this movie. Sean Bean does not die. Yeah, because like it's 
few well, it's and far also, between. He's the bad so. guy, which he does yeah. like a bad guy a lot, which he did well. Yeah. But like, it makes me sad he was a bad guy because he just seems like such a good guy. <laughs> and he's always <laughs> good, good guy. a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> So. Yeah, it was it was very conflicting to watch because yeah. you like you really like his character and you're like, man, Sean, yeah. step out of it. <laughs> yeah, you're a good man, Sean. <laughs> we promise. <laughs> but yeah, Sean. Oh, Mr. Bean. I've got some facts about him I can talk about, but that's because Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones have oh, yeah. kind of just catapulted him. Yeah. Well, well, since you went back to the wherever they were in the Arctic, Utah, it was Utah. That's was where they Utah? filmed, but it was in the Arctic. Wherever they claimed <laughs> the Charlotte ship was, yeah, I have a couple things there. So, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Just so I had to find them. Okay, here's my thing because you can't find it. Okay, <laughs> he's doing the metal detector to find a wooden ship. Yeah. Yes, that is like <laughs> three inches below the snow. Right. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I was so confused. I was like, you're going to have to excavate for a while. Right. Oh, no, I'm done. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. much Just Shovel a little done. bit. All right, got it. We're good. God, I found it, guys. But then when they find it, like, pull out later, it's completely, like, they completely dug it out. I was like. Yeah. Also, that ship would be filled, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine, because, I don't know. I have a lot of issues with this movie in this terms of these kind of things but that's like a lot of movies do that just for the sake of the yeah. movie so true you have to kind of like i don't know halt reality whatever however you want to say that but you got to step into the movie yeah into the world of the movie and just, yeah. just remove reality it. yep yeah i know what sam's line is do you need to say it or did you did you find it yeah okay you can go i cannot suspend reality that's what it is that yeah. <laughs> suspend reality when they find the yes. pipe and he, like, stabs himself and uses the blood to reveal the inscription as his ink. Like, I mean, I guess I don't expect him to have, like, a jar of ink on him. But I was like, this is just way too hardcore for a guy that's named Benjamin Franklin. Gates. <laughs> yeah. I don't like, know. I just... <laughs> He's supposed to be played off as, like, a fanatic, right? Like, their whole family yeah. were fanatics, so... Yeah. That being said... So you think he's hardcore enough to... Well, obviously he is. But I, I was so. like, I really? <laughs> I get what you're saying, though, but yeah. I want to say, like, how for, how much do you think his dad, like, his dad, like, went in and looked for all this history shit? Because the note fucking said Charlotte. Like, the family didn't find shit for, like, four, like, generations. Yeah. Well, I guess not very much, because he was, like not into it right his no he was into it he lost 20, 20 years, years to it. yeah oh what yeah. the fuck was he doing right and then you gotta think <laughs> the dad his grandfather was trying to do it john adams mm -hmm. yeah so like generations of these gates have been searching for it with no luck and then one guy that's super fanatic that has like three master's degrees he was in the navy yeah well maybe they were making progress, and we just don't see that, right? Like that he, was his they, dad like, kept saying, like they kept saying it was clue after clue, though. Yeah. And I'm like, you had one clue. It was called Charlotte. Yeah. Is there more clues? No, I I agree with that bit, but I also like try try to think of it, or was trying to rationalize it by saying they had found enough, and like it led up to this person being able to find it for the family. But at the same time, you're yeah. right. They only had one clue. And he's like, it just leads to clue after clue after clue. It's like, but you don't, you didn't get anywhere. He's the only one that got anywhere. So yeah, I know. yeah it's just kind of silly. <laughs> yeah. The note that Sam said was not what I expected her to say. Cause she was freaking out when he first finds like the name of the boat and then like, he pours the water on it. And she's like, that's not, it's going to freeze. Right. Yeah. That was another beef point that I or had. Or the fact that he literally uncovered the only part that had the name on it, like, right, right yes. away. <laughs> yeah. The, yes. Sam's trying also to suspend beefy. reality. Yeah. She could not. Yeah. I have a part that I'm sure made Tim eye roll into the next building. <laughs> oh, yeah? When, in that same scene, when they pull the gun on him, uh -huh. and the bad guy hesitates, right? Right? Like, he doesn't shoot him. He's just like... It's not Seen Bean. It's whoever his little henchman yeah, the, is. Yeah, one guy. And they're just like, 
movie could have been over, you know? Just shoot him. Boom, boom. Boom, yeah. boom. And they could go get the Declaration of Independence, call it a day. But they didn't know if there was going to be another clue. Yeah. They were like, well... They're bad at solving clues. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Well, the, he said that Ian is actually pretty intelligent, Sean Bean's character. Yeah. Yeah. Which he was. He was like, well, yeah, he knew to go to Philadelphia right away. Yeah. Which, questionable. Why did he go to Philly? Why not? Wait, why did he go to Philly? I don't why know. Not? Why not? He just was like, I'm going to go. I'm going to look at these letters that I don't know about. Oh, silence. Well, no, 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 no. He saw the... Oh, the capital he was letter. Writing, yeah, there he we was go. writing... He was intelligent. We'll yeah. give him that. Because he was writing it down and saw the capital letter and was like, oh, they're in Philadelphia. So. I had to remind Sam on one thing, though. Because we're still in the Arctic Circle or whatever. Right. Yeah. She was just like, why did he... Like, he caught the flare, right? And then his hand goes up in flames. She's like, what the hell? And I was yeah. like, gunpowder yeah. all over his hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was like, you got it. But my question is, why didn't he, he like tossed it. Like right. he, he didn't chuck it at it. He just was like, catch. And then he catches it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, the fuck was your plan, man? Like, <laughs> you just tossed it at it. Yeah. I don't know. Well, there yeah. was another scene like that later on in the movie where he tosses it like very easily. I don't know if it was the declaration or something else. And I was like, <laughs> they just made easy throws in this movie, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah. We'll allow it, I guess. I can pick up in Philly, since we already kind of touched on that. Mm-hmm. So what, I have another point of beef, which is not even, it's like a minuscule point of beef, right? Like, it's once again, like, just me being nitpicky. Right. But when he's being chased by the henchman, Sean Bean's henchman, I almost right. called Ian? him San Bon. <laughs> Sean Bon. I'm, like, determined not to say his name correctly, because it's funny to me. Anywho, his people are chasing Nick Cage, and yep. there's a point where he hits an intersection, and he walks diagonally through the yeah. intersection, yeah. Yeah. and there's not a single car that, like, stops or honks or almost hits him, and I was like, I mean, I get it. It was a cool scene for, like, the way that the chase went, but yeah. and how he, like, it was sprinted. utterly ridiculous. <laughs> and then they caught up to him immediately, but then they could never actually catch him. Yeah, exactly. Like, they, they broke, they destroyed so much ground. And then they could never finish it yeah. until he's on a rooftop, which I got to say when he threw it, when like, when Ben threw the Declaration of Independence map holder thingy, like the poster yeah. card holder, Dudeski checks it. Props to him. Right. I know. Yeah. I was proud of him. <laughs> most of the time they just take it and be like, I got the map, not the map, but. Yeah, most of the time they do take it and then like a couple scenes later they're like, oh. Foiled. Shut him. And then, they get, and then they get murdered by the leader. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, see, he was smart. He knew he would get murdered by the leader, so he just checked True. it already. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Let I'm me a... just nip this in the bud right yeah. here. <laughs> I saw what happened to the last guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, he honestly seemed, until the end, he seemed pretty like trustworthy, not trustworthy, loyal to his goons. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, good for you, Ian. Well, even towards the end, he seemed utter, like, very loyal because he's talking about killing the main people, right? Like, Nicolas Cage and the girl and Riley. And he goes, do you think that I care about your lives any more than Shaw's or whoever just fell to his death? And yeah. I was like, damn! Yeah, and that's when I was like, I thought you cared. Yeah. I thought you cared. So he was a good bad guy, boss. He's good bad guy. <laughs> good guy. Good good guy, bad guy, good. I don't know. So no. when when he was going to go tip, when he was trying, to, they were trying to tip off like the FBI, Homeland Security, mm-hmm. the hot girl, mm-hmm. as Doug calls her, mm-hmm. Ry- Rid- Riley. Riley. I thought I wrote Ridley down. I was like, it's not Ridley. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think of their outfits? You got Ridley in a gray, light gray suit with Converse. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then you got Ben in what? Well, like, was it a, just a blazer, some some blue blue jeans, yeah. hiking boots, and a white shirt? And his hair was like a mess. I don't know. I I cringed when I saw Nick Cage in that. Like, I feel yeah. like people wear even to this day like Converse and gym shoes with their suits. suits. Yeah. But like <laughs> that Nick Cage look was like for some weird reason. But know. people wear jeans yikes. with a blazer all the time. Yeah, no, they do. It reminds me of like. 
I can't even describe it. It kind of reminds me of, like, a Florida man who, like, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but, like, an old Florida man who's retired and has nothing better to do. Yeah. Right. It's up trying to pick up chicks, and, like, he doesn't, he's not aware of how ridiculous he looks. Right, yeah. I don't know why. That's just I the vibe that. that I get. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. When they were doing the, the heist scene to steal the Declaration of Independence. Yes. Did you guys notice the two different sound waves that they had going on? When they showed bad guys, when they showed the bad guys, they, okay. um, they had a different, like, Dun, 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 oh. And then when Nick Cage was yeah. doing, they were like, do, 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 do. Like, nah. had like a calmer tone. No, nah, I didn't notice that. That's yeah. good. <laughs> well, they I they to... also had... Go ahead, Tim. I was just going to say, backing up a little bit, to when they went and looked at the declaration, I'm going to tell you right mm-hmm. now, you ain't walking up to that, and there's nobody around it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. I've been there, I've watched it, yeah. and it's always fucking crowded. <laughs> like, there's no way you're standing next to that thing and just be like, hmm, yes, I'm going to read this right now and check it out. Right? It's, it's, it's crowded as, oh, yeah. So that what part about 8 a.m. on a Tuesday? No, it, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it's so crowded. It's always yeah. busy. <laughs> that place the, is crowded, What is it, yeah. the National Archives? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where it is. Yeah. I've only been to D.C. once, and it was briefly. Yeah. Yeah, I really loved when Riley said... Oh, you had to get past all these people, and he mentions eighth graders on their field trip. I was like, "Shout out! I did that." <laughs> it's right, yeah. Yeah. eighth graders. <laughs> yeah, the multiple. That's times. the fun. That's where they go. <laughs> yeah, our 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 school did eighth grade. Yeah. Yep. You had to be in the honor society, junior honor society, though. Oh. You had to be the smart kid. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't see the Declaration of Independence. But guess what? When you're in eighth grade. If you're like me and you're super short then, like you are now, you still can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that you can see, like, when you go to a concert, there's a band there, Sam? <laughs> yes. That was hard. It's a joke or because <laughs> she's short. Yeah. Okay, anywho. <laughs> I do, I'm glad that you jump back in time in the movie-wise because when they go to tell Abigail that <laughs> the Declaration of Independence is going to be stolen... <laughs> He keeps She's looking down. <laughs> I like to look down. <laughs> Anywho, and she asks, I'm looking up now. Thank if you. you can tell a difference, tweet at us so that Adam can have some confirmation, vindication. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Anywho, they go to tell Abigail the declaration is going to be stolen. And she she's like, you're treasure hunters, aren't you? Like, what the fuck? What? How many <laughs> treasure hunters a yeah. day does she see? Yeah, like, yeah. do you know any treasure hunters? <laughs> like, that was just very odd wording. I think Tim is a treasure hunter. He just hasn't admitted it to us yet. <laughs> Keeps it on the DL. Yeah. Don't be exposing his secrets. <laughs> <laughs> he might have Ian. A treasure what? <laughs> what is this treasure seeker thingy you're talking about? I, that I sounds know, very I, interesting. I do not know of no seeking. <laughs> Anywho, I just thought that was ridiculous. I'm going back to the heist scene. So okay. first off, he just has Photoshop, which is expensive as hell, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And he just like easily just bit bam boom just makes his own little key card to like get in and everything. I'm like, I don't think it's that easy. Like, how, well, do you think you've got a nice camera, Sam? Do you think his zoom could have done, gotten <laughs> that great of pixels, or did he pull a CSI enhance? <laughs> well, I was looking at that, and like, whatever picture he took of the badge and then zoomed in, it was like super blurry, and then his face was super clear. But at the end of the day, the guy's not sitting there staring at it, right? Yeah. Like he's just yeah. looking to make sure it says the name and it has a picture, right? And preferably that the picture matches your face. But you know, like. Your IDs don't have you with long hair, so that's true. I don't know how how crazy they are about it, but yes, I was thinking a little bit how unbelievable that scene was because also when he like drags it in, it like clearly doesn't fit in the box, right? Yeah. Like it, <laughs> and he's like, "I'd buy that," and I'm like, "That was cheesy." Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then once he finally gets in, he he doesn't just casually walk into the bathroom. He kicks that door in. I'm like. Yeah. Why did you kick the door? <laughs> yeah. Why not? What did it do to you? <laughs> he just wanted to make sure that he scared whoever was in there. <laughs> so they go running, screaming out, right? Maybe. Maybe. I thought it was odd that he kicked it. Yeah, too. I'm going to keep going with this, though. Dang! I've got, like, three more notes about just this. so much this. beef? It's not... Well, that was beef. 
but this one, I <laughs> maybe it's. Me. I kind of foreshadowed this, but when he finally meets up with Abigail at the gala, mm-hmm. is that the hot girl? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I loved that line. How she look? How awesome. she look? Tonight. How she look? <laughs> and then, and then yeah, he's the like, "Let's have a toast to trees, high treason." I'm mm-hmm. like. Um, you're giving yourself away there, buddy. Yeah. Well, that whole speech was so crazy. He was I mean, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Super, like, socially he... awkward is how I came off. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like, I get where he's going with it, and it probably all is true, but, like, that, like, could you imagine if somebody was telling you that? You'd be like, uh, I gotta go find my friend. Mm. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, the dude that just rolled up. Mm-hmm. First off, he checked out her ass earlier. Did he? <laughs> yeah, when she's like putting the key code. Either she he was looking away, slash looking at her ass at the same time, or he was just straight up taking a look. Because well, she was typing in her code. You mean the keyboard that comes out of the wall? That was pretty sweet. <laughs> I need a keyboard that does that. But in all heist movies, there is usually like a keyboard that comes out of a wall yeah. or a keypad. So like I get it, but I was like... Really? <laughs> you couldn't have just done a keypad? That technology wasn't around in the 90s or 2000s yet. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then my, my third note on that scene. Yes, I had three Damn, notes on this. that exa- one scene. I wanted I to note busy. that yeah, <laughs> Ben Gates drinks that champagne like I drink my champagne on New Year's Eve. He just shoots it. I just take it all in at once and I'm like, I'm done. Done. <laughs> I'm not a big champagne drinker. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently neither is he. <laughs> well, he had somewhere to go. Paul Brown had somewhere to go, which also I got beef with that. Yeah. Not a single person was like Paul Brown. Right. Oh, are you related to like Cincinnati Bengals Paul Brown slash mm-hmm. Brown, Cleveland Browns, who are literally named after Paul Brown. Mm-hmm. Nobody. I'm like none of you guys are football fans. That's kind of ridiculous. They're Paul all Brown, historians. Like a, yeah. Go ahead, but isn't Paul Brown like? Also, somebody in history. Probably. Maybe. I mean, it's a I very mean, nondescript name. <laughs> yeah. But recency bias, like recency bias, everybody would go with Paul Brown, like the NFL coach slash owner. Probably. Only if they know that. He Mind did. you, we're from Cincinnati, so. Right. I would not know that otherwise. Right. Like yeah. I, I honestly would not. If if it wasn't for living in the area, and yeah, I wouldn't know that. Yeah. So debunked. Did- ha. <laughs> Yeah, we'll that's just only get... a slider patty. It's a it's a small patty. It's, it's been a small downgraded. Patty. <laughs> a White Castle patty. Yeah. <laughs> Adam's not happy about it. I know. <laughs> no, I know. Well, your your I beef someone... got unbeefed or, <laughs> yeah. or uh, veganized. I don't know. You want to? Yes, it's an impossible whopper at this point. <laughs> <laughs> He's really not like. I'm reading my notes here. I'm reading my notes here. Shots fired on your beef. So there okay. are a, a lot of Riley what? quotes. Do you guys have any favorites? Uh, is that the is that that hot girl? That's is your my favorite? favorite. That was a good one. I just one. <laughs> I liked the one like I was saying when they were in Urban Outfitters and he knew. What was yours, Tim? I had two, but I can't remember the one of them. But he he responds with delicious jams and jellies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it was something about the preservatives. Yes. Were, yeah. It was the preservatives room. Yeah. yeah. You know what that's for? <laughs> Delicious jams and jellies. Yeah. That was a good one. That was so oh, good. I, I forgot I had another one, so we'll bounce back and mm-hmm. then we'll give him his next one. Don't go by me. I broke my shoelace today. <laughs> yeah. That's supposed to be a bad. And omen. they were like, "What?" It's apparently a bad omen. <laughs> yeah. I, I loved that one oh too. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what like sets the stage for him, right? Like, was that in the Arctic or was that? It was. On? That was in the know, car, think... his dad's car, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Have you? No, no. This is like third, fourth down. This is when they're in the car, going to like find Charlotte. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty early. It was still yeah. early. Now, have you ever broken a shoelace? No, yes. I don't think so. What? Wow. I've never broken one. I've broken several. Tim, Tim, you got bad omens. <laughs> bad omens. Break them all the time. Oh, no. Oh, Mind man. you, I wear flip-flops only. And those do break on me, so. Yeah, yeah you've had like, quite a few straps. I hate so flip-flops. It's the same thing. I know, I've seen you walk in them. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's honestly hilarious, because it took me like 15 years of knowing you to see you wear flip-flops once. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. And you looked uncomfortable. I hate him so much. Yeah. I I can still picture you walking. <laughs> it was so <laughs> great. That's how I got to get it. I know. <laughs> All right. Tweet us. Instagram us. Let us know if you need to see Tim no, walk uh-uh. in flip-flops. <laughs> We got a very long list of Tim, th- Tim yeah, videos. Yeah, like, this seems Gosh. like the easier one of all of yeah, them, of Tim. all the videos that we've asked <laughs> you to do. I think this one's pretty easy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> all right. And now, what was your other quote from Riley? So he's like, the one guy says, how do they build all this with hand tools? And Riley's like, same as they did the pyramids and everything else, the aliens helped them or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I loved that one. That one was probably my top one. It was just so good. Aliens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think that Riley should be on that new show, The Floor is Lava, on Netflix. Yeah. Okay. I haven't watched Because it. he just, like, leaps that whole distance to get, like, because it was, like, falling, and he just jumps yeah, and goes like, for it. Yeah, he was like, screw this, I'm out. And he just jumps to Oh, the like when they were under the yeah, church, and, and the, they were yeah. on, like, the elevator? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Sam's got this, Sam really likes The Floor is Lava TV show. Yeah, I haven't yeah, watched I'm it a little, yet. I mean, it's, it's... pretty good, yeah. <laughs> it's trash TV, but I like <laughs> trash it. trash TV at its finest. <laughs> so... But I'm going to be honest, if I could go and do it, I would. We need a third, Tim. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> we'll be Here the flip reflexers. Yeah, there you go. And they'll be like, what the hell does that mean? Oh, we have a podcast. Go look Search us up. On social media. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but fuck. Three twenty two. My idea. <laughs> and that Sam's over here sitting oh. around like looking national treasure. My idea. Yeah. Well, what I was gonna say was along the lines of Riley's like one liners. This wasn't really a one liner, it was more of like a speech, but it was in the Arctic and that guy was just like asking him about something or other and he just totally schools him in like the way that ships were made or something like that mm-hmm. do you guys remember that scene yeah i don't know i just felt like he should have dropped a mic at the end of that and i yeah i just, agreed with that just like exactly mic like dropped that. but i do have some beef in the the heist scene of the declaration of independence which is probably we just keep rolling back to that because you know it's a major component of the movie yeah but this is my last point and I don't, it might be an impossible So bobber. far. Yeah. He's in the gift shop <laughs> and he only has like $32 and it costs like $35. Mm-hmm. And the lady goes, we take Visa. Yeah. And I'm like, do, did people yes. need to say that? Yes. Yeah. It used to, when Visa was first coming out, it didn't have a very strong following. Because they, uh, the companies have, would get charged for every charge. So then what was the first like charge card that was widely obs- Accepted American if Express, it wasn't. I think. Really? Because sure. now they don't even accept American Express. It might have been Visa. I was actually, like I think it was Visa. I don't know. I'm not a banker. But I, I was I, like, I, of all the ones, like, to be like, oh, we accept Visa. I just thought that was odd. Unless they were trying to say they, like, she looked in his wallet and it said Visa right there. Oh, I don't know. I didn't like it because I don't know that in the 2000s. I don't know. My mom was still, still paying with checks prevalent. around that time. So was mine, I guess. Not Visa. Okay, fine. See, I told you it might turn into an impossible whopper. I tried just, to tell you got, not to bring it up so earlier. We've come so far in 20 years <laughs> from going to, like, all cash to, like, all card. Yeah. Look at that go. I want you guys to know, though, something else Sam didn't like mm-hmm. was that when they were <laughs> doing the split-up plan, she did not like the plan. She was like, this is a stupid plan. They're going to get caught. Yes. And you know what? They did. Yes. I thought, so Nicolas Cage, this is in Philly. He takes the empty poster carrier, right? And he goes one way. Mm -hmm. He also had the glasses. And he had the glasses. And April, no, her name's not April. Abigail. I was going to say April Ludgate, and I know that's not who she is. You you don't don't even watch Parks and Rec anymore. (laughs) She doesn't even look like that. I don't know how I got there. And Abigail and Riley take the actual declaration of independence and i was like there are three of you how about you give riley the glasses right. nick the holder and her the thing and then like come on come on yeah I don't why know did why he have to have two things that. yeah so yeah that was a bad plan that was a very te- terrible plan that's some actual beef but it's an actual it's beef? part of the whole encompassing story or whatever <laughs> i don't know so no, i'm not, no, gonna, no, no, I'm no, not no. gonna defend it but yeah <laughs> Suspend reality. Yeah. I can't do that. I don't do that for any other movie. I don't either. Yeah, I don't anymore. really either. So. 
<laughs> I'm really bad at it. Like, I try. Actually, that's a lie. Lord of the Rings, I am in it to win it. Yeah. I am in yeah, the Shire. But... I am walking to Mount Doom. But that's you a you different don't... reality. I know. True. I'm not going into a different version of my own reality. I'm not right. fracturing. <laughs> Ayo. You mean you don't get concerned about the fact that Sam, Frodo, and Gollum never ate that potato stew? <laughs> no, I'm not part of that group, <laughs> Sam. I think about that often. You do not. You do now. <laughs> You read that on the internet. I did. I stole that from the internet. But I don't just even know proof. what you're talking about. Oh, the potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. We just want them raw. And wriggling. No. It, it, so it's when. Why? <laughs> I'm not going down this rabbit hole right now. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you a question. Let's just say that there are people out there that don't suspend their disbelief even for Lord of the Rings. Now go ahead. <laughs> How do you put out the fire in the like in the temple? That lit up the whole temple at the end. He, like the gunpowder trails. Yeah. yeah, that he just ex- like that's gonna go out, and then nobody else is gonna be able to do it ever again. It's a one-time use thing. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Do you know what I'm talking about, Tim? Are you talking about all the lanterns and stuff that they lit? No. The wh- end at the treasure room. He like they get to the main treasure room, right? And then there's like this whole big oh, bowl yeah. that he lights of gunpowder, and then there's like a and then it lights it all up. Yeah. yeah. Now, that's like a one-time use sort of deal. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah. It's, I just thought it was funny. I was like, okay, like that's great. Now who's going to light it up next? How, well, how are you going to do it next time? Well, nobody. they were just going to bring cleaned out all the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But they when they built it, it was thought to be like people might go down there more. Right. Maybe. Well, no. Was it? They were no. it was hidden <laughs> yeah. so that if it was found, it would only be found once. Like they weren't going to, they, they intentionally hid it. Yeah. So it yeah, wouldn't be true. found. That's yeah. true. I just thought it was funny. Like, huh. Yeah. How are you going to relight it? Yeah. <laughs> we don't care about that. Now, we have great Riley quotes. Yeah. I want to say the worst quote in the whole movie. Oh. And are it you is sure delivered. that you can pick it out? In my opinion, it was the cheesiest quote. It was by Benjamin Franklin Gates. Well, who Shocking. else would it have been by? <laughs> he finally sees Abigail. Come here. Kisses her. Yeah. Why doesn't any? But then followed up by a guy, great yeah. quote. <laughs> Why doesn't anybody ever do that to me or whatever? Why, Why does yeah. that, that never work out for me? Yeah. Yeah, I know. And <laughs> it was just like, oh my god, the come here. I don't know. It was just so so. I don't know. Forced. So cheesy. Well, course. I just put my hand on my face and just shook it. Yeah. But I liked it because I was like, dude, you could have done that to her. She might not have been like as down with it. But all he does is say, come here and grabs her and forces a kiss. Yeah. Like, dude could make that happen more often if he wanted yeah. to. It just might not work out. It wouldn't. At all. No. No. It would be a bad time. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. We're at the end. Treasure's been given back out. Mm-hmm. Tim, mm-hmm. would you have bought a car? Would that be your half percent? I don't think that's... Judging by the house and stuff, I don't think that's all his money. Yeah, they got about $50 million Yeah. each. So, the two. yeah, I would have bought more than one car. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you name, as our residential car, car expert... Do you want my dream list of cars? <laughs> no, no, I want you to name exactly what car he drove off in. Uh, was it a 458 Ferrari? Incorrect. A yeah. Ferrari 360 Spider. Yeah, see, they they go up in numbers. Mm. I don't know Ferraris that well, but... Because you're not going to drive one anytime soon? Uh, I'm going to try and buy a Testarossa. That's okay, not real. I'm that's not gonna a car. That. I'm not going to try and do that. That's a car, <laughs> I guess. I, if I were to buy one, that would be it. And you get them, you can get them for like, I don't know, it depends, but like 80000 to a hundred. And the reason I wouldn't try and invest into one is because the service on them is like twenty five thousand dollars. What? Dang. Yeah, to get those things serviced every once in a while is like twenty five thousand dollars. I'm like, I'm out. Bye bye. <laughs> Too much. Yeah, that, that's fun. I guess. I'll pass. Yeah. Not that I could afford uh-huh. the car in the first place, but you know. <laughs> I like to get it serviced sometimes. Yep. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah. Oh my. I guess that's why nobody drives those cars. They're not daily drivers. That that's Apparently partially because that one's older. The newer ones aren't as bad, but yeah. Oh, okay. So now Nicholas Cage bought a house. Now that house actually has a lot of meaning. And he was trying to tell it to Riley, don't care, drives off. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> the house was 
Charles Carroll. Charles Carroll. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That guy. You're like, who the fuck is Charles Carroll? He was in one of the opening scenes. He was telling the Gates heir, like the original dude, mm-hmm. the guy that signed the Declaration of Independence and was the last living member. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He is the one. That is his old house. Oh. oh. So I was like, nice. And you could tell it had the nice symmetry. That was a thing back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, coming full circle. Yeah, I, I liked that. I really did like that detail. Yeah, that was cool. I know I shit on a lot of things, but that was nice. Yeah. Well, and I also liked that Riley was like, it belonged to some old dude who did something and then drives off. Like, it was a great line so from much him. Better. <laughs> now, did you got Tim, do you have anything? I'm going to do some facts real quick if you don't have anything. Uh, let's see here. I'm sure I've got some other stuff on my list. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, okay. So, did you guys notice the bad guys were really bad at shooting? Yes. <laughs> Why would they be good? They don't know how to hold a gun. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh. oh, no. The hired goons. <laughs> they don't know how to hold a gun. The henchmen were not And that's all good. I'll say about that. <laughs> oh, okay. No. And then, like, the taser scene when they break into the yeah. thing. And, like, got... tasers don't do that. Yeah. They don't just he, like, knock you out. out. Like... <laughs> I was a little skeptical of that scene, but I was like, I've not been tasered, so... I have. They don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was willing, though. I, it wasn't any... Yeah. Anyway, but... uh, yeah, no, tasers, do do it's like fun? a, it's just, it's, think of like a cramp, a muscle cramp. Ow. It's just like, or like a muscle spasm, that's what they do. But all over. Depending on where you get hit, yeah. Okay. That guy wouldn't have felt it that much, necessarily. He would have like felt it in his abs, mostly. Also, why wouldn't the people guarding the Declaration of Independence slash the entire National Archives not be wearing more like, I, I don't know. I would assume they'd be armored. A vest of, of some kind, probably. Like, yeah. Kevlar? Also, more than one. It depends. Yeah, like more than one guy. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good question. I don't know. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Sam, any other? You had one, you said, right? Oh, yeah. I just was. Well, you pointed to me. You're like, one. What? Well, yeah. Anywho, my last note was just that, is it sad that, like, the music still got me hyped up? Like, I still remember, no, like, great. the theme song. I didn't know that I remembered it until it came on, and I was like, oh, yeah, I really liked this song. Yeah. And I just thought the music was good throughout. So it still is. When you say that, that oh, reminds me of something I had, too, because the music was good. But when they first show the monuments, I looked away for a second to type something in my phone as, like, a because that's where I put my notes. And... As soon as I looked away, I swear I was starting to hear the Avengers theme song. Because I looked <laughs> up like, what? Huh? <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. Yeah, That's I was like, hold up. And it was literally just like the first few notes when they f- go to the first monuments or whatever. And I was like, oh? And then it just immediately was gone. So I was like, oh, it's a different song. But it was just the first few notes. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm watching a different movie. It's like It was <laughs> yeah. really strange. Just a really odd phenomenon. I don't know. Tim actually just has a habit of just turning Avengers on. Yeah, true. Hence this issue. Yeah. Well, no, because I actually thought it sounded like something else, too. I thought it sounded more piratesy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't know that it really did. Like, that might have just been, like, it definitely sounds familiar. So maybe it was in one of those movies or. Maybe it was Gladiator. Not. Yeah, maybe it was Gladiator. Gladiator. It was. It was very reminiscent of another film. That's for Pirates sure. Pirates and Gladiator sound very similar. Yeah. yeah. Look it up if you don't believe me. That being said. Did you know that when they go into the dead end treasure room, like where they sent she- seen Bean off, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that they use sounds from Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, well, now well, I don't feel go. as ridiculous. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here with this big old smirk uh, laughing at Sam because she doesn't know this yet. Yeah. She didn't know that yet. <laughs> well, I'm not crazy. Tim's the crazy one. I'm Tim's the crazy guys. one. This is accurate, probably. Yeah. yeah. I, I would give you that one. All right, did you guys know that this is the first film that was allowed to film in the Phillies in an Independence Hall? That's cool. No. Yeah, first one ever. Weird and cool, but... Yep. Mm-hmm. So not only did Benjamin Franklin Gates, John Adams Gates, there was also Patrick Henry Gates, another person involved with the signing of the Declaration of the, Indep- of the Independence. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> of the Independence. Of Dependence, yeah. yeah. So, so the dad's <laughs> name also was a person of it nice and then abigail chase is named after abigail adams okay and samuel chase okay. another member that signed wow the initial rough cut according to the director 
John Turtletob. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked his name. Yeah. He um he said it was four hours. Dang. The first cut. The first rough cut. So, like, he went down, cut everything he thought he needed to, and he was like, oh, that's 240 minutes. Hmm. That's crazy. Oops. What else could have possibly been in there? I don't know. Maybe more history nuggets like probably. that. Yeah. Pro- yeah. Probably more Nicolas Cage rants. <laughs> Nick rants. Uh, Ian. Ian Ho. How? Ho. I'm going to call him Ho. He was is named after a British general from the Revolutionary War. Oh, okay. Um, if you are on, if you have this on DVD, there's a way to enter 405, and a secret master code will come up, and you get extra um, features. What? How, where, on what? the DVD. <laughs> I tell where you, DVDs you were that? so much cooler. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, my remote has numbers on it. Do you just do it on like the main? I think menu? you do it on the main page. But where? Where would you yeah. just like enter that randomly? You just type it when it's like on the main yeah. page. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you get to do some features. And they have mini games throughout it. It's what? crazy. Hmm. What? Interesting. Yep. Why don't they do this anymore? I don't know. <laughs> really sad. <laughs> yeah. Then there there is a series of spin off novels that exist. Oh. Okay. That Disney helped produce. Classic. And there is a Disney Plus series coming. It's in development. It's in what? the works. That being said, Sam was like, did they ever make the third one? Yeah. That's also in the works with the original director. They... Turtle Tob is coming back. Well, okay. So I remember seeing the second one, but what is it about? Do you remember? Do you I know? don't know. Did they, you guys see it? They, the Eiffel Tower, no, Statue of Liberty is involved and then they go to the French Statue of Liberty. Okay. Which makes sense because France gave us ours. Right. Yeah. But... Yeah, they go outside the um, U.S., but they're bringing back the original cast. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, all nice. of them are all of them are signed on. Seen Bean, come back. Well, no, I don't think the villain is. Why not? I mean, the good guys. <laughs> Why not? Excuse me. I don't know. Uh, where do I petition? <laughs> I am no longer where watching do I boycott? this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and then I have two last questions for you before I get to the cast. Okay. How many? Men signed the Declaration of Independence. 56. Yep. Tim? Didn't he say 56? Didn't say 55? I thought he said 56. I wrote down 55. Okay, well, I think he said 56. 55 and a half it is. <laughs> is that the real number? No, I actually okay. did think okay, the night janitor snuck in and, and signed it. Yeah, he's just like, you know what, I want to yeah. write in here real quick. Uh-huh. Okay, anywho. And then, what was your fact around that, though? No, that was my fact. Oh, oh. And then my other question is, if you had to choose, we're going to play like, you know, the, um, Mm -hmm. what is it? Fuck, Mary kill game. We're not going to play that. We're going to play a new one. (laughs) We're going to have higher, uh, higher assist kill. Okay. So you're going to either hire this treasure hunter, like assist them in trying to get treasure or you're going to kill them. Okay. Your three options are Benjamin Franklin Gates. Okay. Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. Okay. Or Indiana Jones. Go, Tim. Oh, my. Um. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's tough, actually. Because you, you threw, you threw Indy jump? in there. Uh, I'm going to have to say hire Indy, marry Laura. That wasn't an option. Mary is not an option. I know it's not, You're but so- I'm changing it. <laughs> <laughs> It obviously that counts as assisting, right? Yeah. yeah, I forgot what the options were anyway. But uh... Benjamin Franklin Gates. Well, no, no, I, I it, meant to. You're gonna kill him, right? Yeah, you, that's who you're marrying, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't even let you finish. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, so Sam, we know the ending of Tim's story. <laughs> okay. What about you? So mine is close to Tim's, but a little bit different. <laughs> no marrying. No marrying. <laughs> You sure? Benjamin Franklin Gates has a nice house. Ew. Um, <laughs> Ew. So I am going to hire Laura Croft, mm-hmm. assist Indy, and obviously kill Ben Gates. <laughs> Who needs it? It's like uppity. Like, he's just so condescending. Yeah. But anywho, what about yours? Mine matches yours completely. Oh, really? <laughs> I would want to hang out with Indiana Jones. Laura Croft, what the hell ever she does... 
for some weird reason brings about the end of times. Yeah, there's. I don't want to. I don't want to be involved in that. I mean, I'll just so hire does her. Indy though. In That's one of true. them, what is it? The the Raiders of the Lost Ark. So like, I don't know. But I I could. I just think it would. Yeah, be but fun then I get to hang out with Gimli if he's in the if we go to that one. Yeah. Everything goes back to Lord of the Rings. Anywho. <laughs> that was that was all I've got. That I'm gonna go to the cast. I like it. it. Hey guys, let's chat about Anchor, shall we? Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. It's free and allows you to record with friends and edit your podcast right on your phone or computer. What's even better is that Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. This was such a huge plus for us since we know nothing about that sort of thing. Another perk we love about Anchor is that it will allow you to make money with no minimum listenership. Again, a huge win. Anchor makes creating and managing a podcast so easy since it's all in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. All right. Did you guys know Benjamin Franklin Gates was played by Nicolas Cage? No. He was in movies (laughs) such as Face Off. Yes. I love that movie. Dom in 60 Seconds. I love that movie. (laughs) Kick ass. I love that movie. (laughs) (laughs) He was a. I love that movie! (laughs) Okay, I don't love love that movie, but that one's an okay one. National Treasures 2, Book of Secrets. You know, I don't really remember that one. (laughs) And then he has a small part in Fast um, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Never watched it. Uh, he's also in a movie called Joe. Let's just let's just cut this short. He's in a lot of movies, probably all of them. He's in all of them. He's like Samuel Jackson. You're Somewhere just in all of in them. The now, <laughs> it gets even better. He's going to be playing in a new TV series, a mockumentary. Okay. He's going to be Joe Exotic. No way. <laughs> yes, he is Get Joe Exotic. Get that out of here. I hate that show. And I don't know why. You should. He's a terrible person. Oh what? my god! A mockumentary sounds amazing. Oh, no, I no, think it's gonna be hilarious. That's gonna be amazing. I hated Joe Exotic, that that Tiger King show. Oh my gosh. Yes. I hated all now, of that. Now, Abigail Chase was played by Diane Kruger. She looks familiar. Yeah. Is she in anything else? She is in a few other things. She's in Inglorious Bastards. Mm-hmm. She is the blonde girl that goes down into the basement yep. scene. She's the actress. Okay. One of the best scenes. Yeah, she's the actress. Okay. It's one of the best Wait, scenes. Wait, she's not the actor. <laughs> I'm a push show. <laughs> Continue. She is in, well, she, we've not seen this, but she's in Welcome to Marwin. Oh, okay. That's okay. And she is Helen of Troy yes. in Troy. She is! That's where I'd recognize her I really her wish face. you guys could have seen what oh Sam just did with her hands. I love that movie. Seen Beans in that, too. Sorry. Yes, he is. You stole my thunder! Sorry. But she was actually born in Germany. Yeah. And when she's like, yeah, my accent's from this. Point. Oh, that's her, like. Hello, motorcycle. <laughs> right? <laughs> that's her real. Yeah, that's accent. her actual accent. Like, oh, it's from that area. That's cool. And she did most of her own stunts for this film. Look at her go. You go. Yeah. Hard crazy. Forward. Like, there's that one scene where she's, like, hanging from a goddamn door. Yeah. Yeah. On the food truck. Yeah. And then Riley Poole is played by Justin Bartha. Now, Justin, not in much. But he will always be Doug. Yeah. From yeah, The Hangover. Definitely. And then he's in a TV show called The New Normal, and then another one called The Good Fight. Okay. I think don't think I've seen one. or heard of it. I, I don't think I've heard of him. Yeah. Ian Howe, or Ho, however you want to say it, because I'm, I like to call him a Ho, <laughs> is Seen Bean. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sean Bond. Son Bond. He is in. SB. Did you guys know he's Boromir in Lord of the Rings? Whoa! <laughs> what? He's Odysseus in Troy. What? He is in Black Death. I have never don't heard know of what this that man. is. <laughs> I don't then, know that is yeah, either. but it's apparently a very good film. Oh. Yeah. Does he die? I don't know. <laughs> I just assume he does. In another movie, he doesn't die in Percy Jackson films. He's Zeus. Oh. Yeah, and then. Drum roll. Do, 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 do. He is going he's in the new show Snowpiercer. Ooh, Ooh okay. Yeah, and TNT, he is Mr. War- Wofford, Warford. Oh, yeah. He's the guy at the end. Nice. Yeah. Wilford, yeah. Wilford or whatever. Wilford, yeah, something like that. I can't ever yeah. remember. But yeah, he's a character in that and that's exciting cuz I want to watch the show. It's on TNT. Yeah. He's in And I don't have cable. He's in uh, the movie <laughs> Equilibrium. Oh. If you've never seen that. With Denzel? Huh? I have not seen that. Is that the one with Denzel? No. No, no. It's uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale. It's in the future after a massive war, and then people are forced to take drugs so that they don't have emotion. 
And then he's what's oh, called it's a just Templar. Like and they hunt people that have emotions. Oh. Dang. He just wants everybody to be on Xanax. Yeah, pretty much. I want to see this movie now. Anyhow. Uh, we got Patrick Henry Gates. It's played by John Voight. John Voight is a very big actor. Yeah. From the past, familiar. though. Mm -hmm. He was in Midnight Cowboy. Okay. Now, I've not seen that, so I'm going to name some other movies that I have seen, which is Anaconda, <laughs> number one horror film as a child. Yes. He's the bad guy. That's okay. not a snake. <laughs> Uh, he's he's um, a snake. He's Shaw <laughs> in Fantastic <laughs> Beasts. <laughs> he's in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Sean? Shaw. Shaw. He's the publisher of the... Oh, yes. Yes. Nice. That guy. Sadusky. Okay. Sadusky. It's played by Harvey Keitel. Now, both of you are sitting here like with your blank faces. Mm -hmm. Why do... That name sounds familiar and Adam has brought it up before. It does because not Because he is also... New yeah, for some weird reason, we all forget that he is sport in Taxi Driver. Oh! Like the FBI agent that's at the end, the, the main yeah. one. Yeah, that's sport. I'm still lost. Okay, in Taxi Driver? <laughs> yeah. You know sport? No. He's the dude with the long hair. He was in. He had he the was bell the bottoms. He was the oh, pimp. Oh, yeah. Gotcha now. Gotcha. Yep. Cocaine finger. I know I finger. recognize. Okay, now that's why he looks familiar. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> He is in... Wow, did you guys know he was in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy! Crazy! He is in Moonrise Kingdom as well. What? Yeah, he's in most of his films. I said this in Taxi Driver. Yeah, I was like, I feel like we probably went over And he's, got, he's in most of the Tarantino films as well. Okay. But he's also in, he's in Pulp Fiction and Isle of Dogs. Yeah. And apparently National Treasure. And apparently, <laughs> and apparently National Treasure. And he's in the second one, and he's going to be in the third one. Oh. I feel like you did say this. I'm getting big shot, <laughs> Okay, and then John Adam Gates is played by Christopher Plummer. Do you know who Christopher Plummer is? I have heard his name, I but too. I don't know if I have heard this name before his episode or just that you said it Okay, earlier. I'm going to say, it's, Tim, you've not seen this movie. Well, at least you haven't seen a mo this movie since I've talked to you last. Mm -hmm. His last name is Thromby. Oh, Knives Out. Thornberry? Yes, he is. <laughs> Nigel! <laughs> Nigel Thornberry. Smashing Marianne. <laughs> Smashing Marianne. <laughs> no, he's not Nigel Thornberry. He's the main He Thromby, is. Well, right? He's Mr. Thromby. In oh. Knives Out. He's like, when you see the it, head know of it. The house he's thing. in The Sound of Music. What? Yeah. He looks like he would be in The Sound of Music. <laughs> he's like some general dude. I've not seen The Sound of Music. I have. I've been Multiple to where times. it was filmed. Yes, we have. I, really, Tim? Yeah. I know, we were all together. Yeah. Plus one. Yeah. yeah Shout we, out to Taylor. The Hills Were Alive. And then he is in the, he, vo he has a voice in the movie, Up. Who does he voice? Carl Fredrickson? No, I think he's the villain. Oh. I don't remember that guy's name, but, but and then, the villain. Now, this is a shout-out. I've not watched this show that much, but Agent Colfax, he was the, he's one of the FBI guys. He's played by Eric King. He is the main character in Dexter, or his secondary character. He's in a lot of episodes. Okay. Hmm. But I've not seen Dexter. Well, I've, I've seen episodes. I've not seen the show, though. Uh, the director, John... Turtle Tob. Mm hmm. <laughs> Turtle Tob. He did Cool Runnings. Oh. Very popular Disney film. It's a good movie. Yeah. He did two episodes of Sam's new show, Zoe's Infinite Playlist or whatever. <laughs> nice. And he did Sorcerer's Apprentice. Got to work with Nick, Nicky Poo Poo again. That's the one. Nick, I was like, I do not remember this. Sorcerer's movie. Apprentice is a movie where it's got Jay Bruchel, the guy that plays Hiccup. Oh. Awkward guy. Mm hmm. He is an apprentice to Nicolas Cage, who is the sorcerer. I feel like I kind of remember seeing something about this movie. Yeah, and then he did a movie called Phenomenon. I've heard that. But yeah, that's all I got. Interesting. Nice. So, anywho, we don't have to spin any wheels, because we, this was a bonus episode. <laughs> and thank you for joining us on our he... Uh, uh. Oh, mine's nowhere near me. I always have mine ready. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. But yeah, we had our first holiday extravaganza episode. He... Mm -hmm. Yes, so happy 4th of July to all of you people in the U.S., to you people that are listening to us that aren't from the U.S. That's fine. Just watch this movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. We didn't say. Would you Would you flip it on? Oh. Yeah. We skipped it. I skipped it. Oh, my it. goodness. Tim, would you flip it on? 
Uh, Laura Croft was not in it. Near, neither was Indy, but yes. <laughs> I would also flip it on. And if you like historical nonsense from Nicolas Cage, flip it on. If you like mm-hmm. the Declaration of Independence being stolen, flip it on. If you like lemons, flip it on. If you like a double twist ending with a yeah. cherry on top. Double twist. Yeah, that's true. If you like Harvey Keitel, flip it on because he's always in all these random movies. Mm-hmm. Or Scene Bean. Or Scene Bean. If you want to see Sean Bean survive, flip it on. <laughs> yeah. Like this is that's outrageous. Why would why why did we let him live? If you want to see people put on a ridiculous amount of clothing in Urban Outfitters, <laughs> while and holding an eight thousand dollar watch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if you like a sassy sidekick. Yes, for sure. Riley is one of the best sassy sidekicks. Yeah, he, he was so good. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah. And don't blow off your fingers. What? Fireworks. Fireworks. Uh. <laughs> Happy Fourth! <laughs>